Good morning, evening, day or night, kind of not to get ladies and gentlemen who quest or troll the wonderful land of YouTube. My name is Trolambo. And my name is Metal of Age. And welcome to another By the Dozen Top 12. And today's topic will be Top 12 games we've never played. And it will be games that we want to play, obviously. So to make this list, the thing that we did was, well, we checked out which games are viewed as iconic games by, well, multiple people. So we checked out some of the lists that people voted on. What are the best games ever? What are the most iconic games? And then we went through those lists and saw which games we wanted to play and we hadn't played yet. And of course, the higher the game is on the list, the more we want to play it. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's just how it works. At number 12, it seems we have the same game because Metal's still here. Yeah. Hmm, what could it be? Could it be Heavy Rain? Yes! Oh my god, it was! But you know. Because we're both here. Yeah. Okay, well, why is it in our top 12? Well, it was kind of a new kind of game, wasn't it? Like a really story-based game and yeah. you're, you have multiple, well, main characters and they could even die and that could like have its effect on the story. A lot of stuff that you can do has its effect on the story and I don't really know that much about the story except that it was about some guy named the origami killer, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. That someone keeps hitting Jason. Yeah. Jason! Jason! The reason why we never played this game is because we didn't have a PS3. Yeah, we had an Xbox 360. But I heard that they were remaking the game and a lot of people are like, Oh, that's just last generation, so why did they need to remake it? Well, maybe because people like us that were on the Xbox the last generation? Yeah, don't who, be fucking stupid and complain about shit. Yeah, who you gives don't a have fuck? to buy the Yeah, it's not game. like they're, they're, pointing your, they're, they're pointing a gun against your head. You're gonna buy this shit now. Yeah. If you don't like it, don't buy it. That's just what I we're saying. And I guess we can move on to number 11. On number 11, I've placed, well, the Donkey Kong Country series. Because I've never played any of these games. The thing that kind of whole held me back, because I never played them at the time, because I didn't know about them, but the thing that kind of held me back afterwards was the weird-ass type of uh, graphics. A lot of people praise those kind of like realistic kind of graphics, but I find them to be super weird and that's something that put me off on playing the game. And it's even something that puts me off at placing it higher on my list. But then again, I really like Donkey Kong, he's a cool character. And some of the game mechanics look cool, like the barrel shooting and stuff, so I want to play it. My number 11 is Kirby's Dreamland. Why haven't I played it? I've never even... I don't think I've ever seen it in stores and I was way too little or too young to be looking for certain games back then. The third one was on the SNES and we've never owned an SNES. And why do I want to play it? Well, mostly because I really want to play older Nintendo games. <laughs> and I've heard people talk about it, and they liked it. So of course that makes me want to try it and see if I like it. Moving on to number 10 is, well, it's, again it's a series because I've never, well I've played neither of them, and it's the Portal series. I played none of the Portal games, but they look like a, they seem like a lot of fun because you have the kind of puzzle aspect to it that makes it look cool. You have like the Portal guns, which are cool, and I don't know everything about it, so I can't tell you that much more about it. The reason that I've never played it is because, well, my PC sucked too much to like handle the game. My number ten is Super Castlevania Four. Again, I haven't played it because SNES game actually the same as with. Kirby's Dreamland. I've heard a lot of people say it's good. And um, well, I've played. I did play one Castlevania game, the first one, and it was all right. <laughs> I heard people say that Super Castlevania 4 is the best Castlevania. Just seems very cool because castles and videos. You're here again. What are you doing? It could only mean one thing. Which game do we share on the number on the ninth spot? Which one is it? Oh, it's another SNES game. Yeah. Yeah. Earthbound. Yeah, that's what that's what it was. I almost forgot it. Yeah, that's at number nine at my spot because on my list it looks like a cool game. Yeah. 
It's mostly it's and it's kind of an RPG game. It is. And I like my playing some RPGs from time to time, so it should be on this list. And I've never played it because, well, uh, I've never really owned an SNES, and I ha I've had a neighbor that owned one, and I went there to play on an SNES. But neither of us kind of owned the game, so yeah. You're still here. Yeah. That yeah. must mean that our number eight is also the same thing. No way. Is it like Sonic games? Yeah. The Older ones. Oh, so you don't mean like from, like from on the Sega consoles? Oh, not you? No, I was talking about the lyric game, Sonic Boom. Oh, that seems so awesome. Wait, no, it looks like shit. <laughs> Who am I kidding? No, we're talking about old Sonic games, and we've never played them because we never owned Sega's consoles. Yeah. You... I've never really seen Sega consoles anywhere though, you know. I'm mostly interested in the game because I'm curious about why it was like the mascot for Sega and it was like competition for Mario. For Mario. Yeah, that's also why I wanted to see that because I played a lot of Mario games in my time and I'm not really a fan of platformers that much anymore mm -hmm. since there's a lot of other stuff you can play now. I, I only played one Sonic game ever, but I didn't like that one. But everyone seems so fond of the old Sonic games. So we're gonna play some old Sonic games. Yeah. My number seven, well, we've heard that before. It's any Kirby game, actually, because I've never played any Kirby games. Why do I wanna play this? Well, because Kirby is, well, it's a cool character. It's like a pink ball with a face and it sucks things. Oh, that sounds weird. No, uh, what I meant was, well, Kirby can like adapt powers from from other uh, creatures and stuff, and it looks like a cool addition to a platformer game. It looks like a cool mechanic to have in a game. So I want to see how that translates to a game that's mostly what it's about, and about knowing kind of more like the backstory through the games. That's also interesting. I've only seen the character in Smash, so that's all I know about it. My number seven is. Any Mega Man game. I've never played any Mega Man game. It looks cool. You have different bosses. And when you beat a boss, you, you can get like their power, I guess. Which is cool. But they all have stupid names. Yeah, and I wanna try it. At number six, I have a certain game that we've talked about like somewhere before in this list. It's the Mega Man series. <laughs> yes, it is. I don't know what to say about it. Uh, metal, it hasn't said. Like, you can obtain like new powers, but there's a lot of cool mechanics. But the bosses have stupid names. Just keep saying that. My number six is Kingdom Hearts. I have never played any Kingdom Hearts game. It looks interesting with a, you know, a main character who looks like he should be in Final Fantasy. Right? And again, not. <laughs> and then you have like. Disney characters who look like they should be in Final Fantasy. Somehow I've never played it before. So our number five game is the same thing again. Yeah. Who would have thought? Well, it's again a whole gaming franchise. Yeah. And it's about a robot, or so people thought at the beginning. But then it turned out to be about a blonde woman in a robot suit. Yes. Are there still people who don't know what we're talking about? Probably. We're talking about the Metroid series! Why do we want to play this game? It looks interesting again, you know? It's one of the... I think it's one of the most popular Nintendo franchises, isn't it? From and then, what I've seen. But you have like two arrows that you can play as well, because there's a 3D version of the game, and it's one of the games... People always say that it's one of the best transitions from 2D to 3D, that game. Some people say that Super Metroid is one of the best SNES games. So yeah, you, it, it's got a lot going for it, so we, we must try that at one point. Yeah, maybe even for a playthrough or something like that. Mm -hmm. At number 4 I've placed Shadow of the Colossus. Well, it seems like a cool game because you have like you can run around and then you have to fight those colossuses. They all have their cool individual looks and they all have their own way of, of going about it and fighting them. There's like so many different individual boss battles that you have to do. Why haven't I played this game? Well, I wouldn't know. Guess it wasn't really that 
popular here at the time, but afterwards more people started praising it. Now I wanna play it. But now it's harder to find PS2 games again, so <laughs> number four is Banjo and Kazooie. I don't think like back when we used to play a lot on the N64. I don't think I ever heard of Banjo and Kazooie back then. For some reason you hear about great games and you already and they're already really old and hard to find. <laughs> it looks like a funny game. At the number three spot, I've played Zelda games and I know what you're thinking. You haven't played Zelda games? Well, yes I have played Zelda games. I've played all of the N64 Zelda games. But which are two. That's not just two of all the Zelda games. I've never played anything after it, and I've never played anything that came before it. And why would I want to play that? Well, because I like those games, and they they make me want to play the other ones. And then you have like new mechanics in there as well. You have like the one where you start off being a wolf or something. What was that one? That's Twilight Princess. Twilight it? Princess, yeah. Then then you have like the Wind Waker, which has like really it has like a an entirely different mechanic and look to it. It's like you have the sea, and then you can explore, and then you can go to islands, so that's also cool. My number two spot is Crash Bandicoot 2. Crash like Strikes Back. He played it. I only played the first one and the third one, which okay. I really liked. You know when you play the first one, and you've played the third one? Don't you really want to know what, how the second one is like? So my number two is Final Fantasy VII. Yes, I've never played Final Fantasy VII. That's weird, isn't it? Because I've played a lot of Final Fantasy games, and well, Final Fantasy VII is to some extent spoiled because I know that Ares is gonna die. Whoa! Whoa! Don't spoil it for our viewers. Yeah, it's spoiled for me, so fuck them. Ares dies, she gets penetrated by Sephiroth's long sword. <laughs> so, why do I want to play this game? Well, because a lot of people say that it's the best. And I want to play it, so I can say that Final Fantasy VIII is the best. <laughs> Yeah, because the most people most people are complaining just about how difficult the junction system is. No. I was fucking 10 years old and I figured that shit out. So that just means that most people are fucking dumb. Shots oh. fired. Deal with it. Number 2 on my list is Conker's Bad Fur Day. Again, a 64 game that I've never heard of when... I frequently played on the N64. The game looks incredibly funny, like with the great Mighty Pooh. From what I've seen, there's an actual story behind it. And the story looks cool. I really want to play it. At number one, I've placed a game that I've never played before, because that's this list. Duh. And it's Chrono Trigger. Why do I want to play this game? Well, because it's an RPG and I like playing RPGs from time to time. And because it's one of the games that has, well, according to some people, stood the test of time. So it's still a great game. The story is great and it's quite a quick game. You can finish it quite easily if you want to. And the weird thing about the game is you have to, like, from what I've heard, is like that you have to ba face the boss early on. If you're in your second playthrough of the game, because you had a new game plus there, you can beat the boss there, like, and and not play anything after it. So that's kind of a funny thing to have in a game that you can beat a boss prematurely. It was one of the games that had you like do banal tasks in the beginning. Apparently, like in, in the what was it like state carnival, state carnival fair kind of thing, and your actions there even like rang true later in the game, so that's really cool. Especially for such an old game. You, you see fucking linear storytelling in a lot of games now. You're, what you do in games, how, how you play them doesn't really matter in a lot of modern games. And it mattered there, so that's just cool. And that's why it deserves the number spot, one spot on my list. People might not agree with me, but just let me know in the comments below. Number one spot of this list goes to something you've heard before, every Zelda, Legend of Zelda game that I haven't played. I don't think I ever finished one. I think I was, I didn't really care much about Zelda games when I was way younger than I am now. 
Now it's really interesting. I have played parts of Ocarina of Time and parts of Majora's Mask. Anyway, yeah, there are a lot of cool games, of Zelda games that I haven't played that I really want to play, like Wind Waker, looks cool, cartoonish. There's only one Zelda game I know that you can play with multiple people, which is really interesting to me because I like co-op games. We told you that there would be like 12 items on this list and you've heard them all. You might want to say like, no, that list sucked. Well, just write your comments in the section in the comment section below. But what you can write in the comment section below is your two picks, or one if you can pick two, if you don't want to pick two, from these five possible lists. First one being top 12 favorite childhood games. Well, that continues on this list. Which games have we played and did we like? Second, it's not really a follow-up list. Because it doesn't have anything to do with this. Top 12 favorite wrestlers. It's coming from Independent, from WWE. The third list, well, doesn't also necessarily have to do with games, but it might cross over into that list some way. Mm -hmm. It's about our top 12 favorite Pokemon. A lot of first and second generation stuff though. Top 12 games that we haven't bought yet or aren't out yet that we really want to buy. Yeah. Those are mostly new games. The next possible list that you could pick is the top 12 most awesome weapons in gaming, according to us. The last list option is the top 12 Belgian beers. Hmm. I'd like me some Belgian beers. And we're from Belgium, so we know a lot about beers. Those were the six options. Well, you can choose two or you can choose one, depending on, well, what you like. You can do that in the comment below, in the comment section below, or you could post your own top 12 list, or you can do both in like one comment even, if you want to, or you can do both in two comments. What the fuck, do whatever you want. Yeah. It's a free country, and a free comment section. We'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching our video. Did you like that video? Don't forget to like it, if you like it. If you don't like it, like it as well. Leave a comment. Share the video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and be real, little stars. See you in the next video.